Hey everyone, and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Kurama from Naruto. Let's start at the very bottom of our page with the face. So I'm going to start with the upper eyelid. On the left side of center, I'm going to draw a curve. From the outside, we're going to curve down, and we're just going to pull that in. We're going to leave a small gap in the center and do the same thing on the right. So lining up the inside, curve up, and then out. Now from the inside, I just want to swirl this around, and then pull it back out. Now let's tuck the eyes in underneath the eyelid. So it's a small half circle, starting on the outside. We'll curve around and then pull that back up. We're gonna do the same thing on the right side. Now we're gonna draw a smaller half circle just in the center for the pupil. Now just above the eyes, I wanna accentuate the brow line. So we're just gonna draw another curve coming down and then in. Now from here, we're gonna draw the trim around the eyes. So we're gonna start on the inside lower edge of the eye on the left, draw a short angle line coming down and in. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna curve underneath the eye and out. Curving up and then out. And then we're gonna curve around the side of the eye, up towards the top, and we're gonna leave a little gap just underneath the eyelid. From the top of the eyelid, we're going to curve in the opposite direction toward the tip of the ear. Starting on the left, we're going to curve up and then out. Let's do the same thing on the right, going up and then out to the same height. Now we're going to draw in the lower part of the ear. From the tip, I want to step in to create an overlap. We're going to curve down and then in towards the bottom trim of the eye. We'll do the same thing on the right. Starting from the bottom, we'll curve out and then tuck that in underneath the top line. Let's move down and draw on the nose. So in the center here, we're gonna draw a curve from left to right, curving down and back up. On the left side, I'm gonna curve down and in towards the tip of the nose, and we'll curve up towards the right. Now let's layer the mouth underneath the nose. Starting on the left side, I'm gonna curve down underneath and back up on the right. Now we're gonna curve up and out just underneath the eye. Starting on the left, curve up and then out on both sides. Now from the ends of the mouth, I want to curve down towards the lower jaw. Starting on the left, we're going to taper this down so the gap gets a little bit wider. And we'll connect those two points with a curve, coming down in the middle and then back up. Let's add in the fangs. So starting on the left corner, we're going to go up in an angle and then we'll come down and in. We're going to repeat the zigzag pattern all the way across. And then along the side of the mouth, I'm just gonna draw a series of angled lines, just coming down. Directly below the mouth, we're gonna draw on the chin. Starting from the left, we'll curve down and then back up on the right side. Now from here, we're gonna curve up and out. Starting on the left, we're gonna go out around the mouth and then just pull that outwards. Let's taper this line coming in towards the mouth. We're gonna leave a little gap on the side. Now we're gonna add a couple more points of fur along the side here. Starting from the left, we're gonna curve out, and then we'll pull that back in towards the eye. We're gonna do one more in the opposite direction. We're gonna curve up and out, and then we'll pull that in just beside the ear. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving out, and then down. Taper that back in. Now we're gonna curve in the opposite direction, going up and pull that in just beside the ear. Now I'm gonna take this point, curve the side of the ear going up right beside the tip of this line. So you're gonna taper the ear going out and pull that up. Do the same thing on the right, going out and we'll pull that up. Let's add some fur along the tip of the ear. From here I'm gonna curve out and up and we'll taper that back in. We're gonna do the same thing on the right. Now we'll draw one longer tip, curve up all the way to the tip of the ear on both sides. Now from here, I'm gonna curve around and in and then down just beside the inside of the ear. Start at the top, we'll curve down, pull that in. Now we're gonna round this out and pull that down. Do the same thing on the right. Curving down over towards the left, curve around the ear, and we'll pull that down to the same height. Now we're gonna add a little bit of fur texture along the top of the head. 
Starting on the inside edge of the left ear, we're gonna curve up and in. Now we're gonna taper that back down. We'll do one more time. Going up over towards the right, taper back down. Now we're gonna curve down and in behind the inside of the right ear. Directly above the head on either side of the center, we're gonna draw a curve going in for the back. Starting on the left, we're gonna curve in and then up. Go over to the right side and draw the same thing. Now that we've drawn the face, let's draw the front arms tucked in beside the head. So just beside the left side of the head here, we're gonna curve out and pull up the shoulder. We're gonna do the same thing on the right side. Now going back to the left, we're gonna tuck the upper arm in behind the shoulder. So we're gonna step down, go across, and pull it up towards the elbow. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going across and then up. Let's go back to the left side and draw the forearm. So from this point, we're gonna step down, curve down and in. Now from here, we're gonna round out the thumb. We're gonna curve in and then down. Let's do the same thing on the right. Stepping in, curve in and then down towards the wrist. Now we're gonna round out the thumb, curving in and then down. From this point, we're gonna curl the thumb, going in towards the claw, curving down and out. Now we're gonna taper that back in, going up. Let's do the same thing on the right. From the inside of the thumb, we're gonna curl out the fingers. So from this point, we're gonna step down, curve up, and then down towards the first finger. Now we're gonna taper that back up, going in. Let's layer three more fingers on the side. So about halfway along this finger, we curve down and out, and then we'll repeat this, going up. Now the third time, curve out. Now from here, we're gonna go up over the fingers in towards the wrist. So we go up and pull that into right about there. Let's take that and flip it over on the right side. So from the inside of the thumb, we're gonna step down, curve out, and then down towards the first finger. Now we're gonna taper that back up and in. Let's layer three more fingers on the side. Now we're gonna go in and separate out the claw. On the thumb, on the inside, we're just gonna curve in and then down. Same thing on the right. Now we're gonna do the same thing along each of the fingers, just along the tip, creating a little curve. Now let's go back to the left side and draw on the outside of the forearm. From this point of the wrist, I'm gonna curve out and then come back up towards the elbow. So curving out and up. Now right here, we're gonna curve it up towards the elbow. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving out, and now we'll pull that up towards the elbow. We're gonna add a little bit of fur to the back of the arm. So from this point, I wanna make my way back towards the shoulder with a short curve coming in. Now we're gonna taper that back out. Now from here, I'm just gonna pull that in, just above the shoulder line. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curve in, add one point to fur. Now we're gonna bring this just above the shoulder. Now from this point in the back of the arm, I'm just gonna curve in behind the ear, curving up and then in. Now let's move up inside the ears and draw on the back. So just on the inside here, we're gonna curve up and then in, line up the right side. Now we're gonna draw in the back. We're gonna step over, draw a curve going up towards the center of the back, round it out. Now we're gonna pull our way back down on the right side. And then from here, we're gonna draw in the hind legs tucked in behind the arms. So we're gonna start on the outside of the ear. I'm gonna draw a curve going up and then back down towards the knee. We're gonna do the same thing on the right. So let's line this up, curve up and then back down. We're gonna draw a little bit of fur. We're gonna hook this back in with a short curve. Now let's curve back out towards the tip of the knee, going out. From here, we're gonna curve down in behind the upper arm. Come inwards. Now the hind leg is gonna come down and in behind the arm on the inside. So let's start about halfway along the bicep. 
uncurl in and down. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we're gonna curl out in behind the forearm. About halfway along this space here, I'm just gonna draw a curve. Coming down and in, aiming towards the center of that point. Now let's draw in the toes going out towards the left. So we're gonna line up the inside here, go straight across with a line. We're gonna do the same thing on the right side. Now we're gonna curl over the toes. From this point, we're gonna curve up and in. Do the same thing on the right side. We're gonna stack two more toes in behind. So from this tip, we're gonna step up, draw a short line going across, and we're gonna curve the second toe. Do the same thing on the right. We'll do that one more time. From that tip, we'll step up, draw a short line. Now we're gonna curve this up and in behind the forearm. And then we're gonna separate out the claw, starting with the front toe, we'll curve around, the second, and then the third. Okay, so now that we've drawn the body, we're gonna draw in the nine tails that surround the body in the back here. So the easiest way to do this is to start with the center tail and then draw four on either side. So from the center, we're gonna move over towards the right. We're gonna curve out towards the left and then we'll swirl around towards the tip of the tail. From the tip, we're gonna taper our way back around so it gets thicker and then comes back in and thins out in behind the body. So let's start up here. We're gonna add some fur along the way. So we're gonna curve this around we're gonna add a point, just tapering that back. Now we're gonna go all the way around towards the side. So we're gonna make this tail go a little bit thicker as we come around. Let's add another point here, curving around. Now from here I wanna curve around so it's thicker and we'll pull that back in. Going around, pulling that in, and then taper it in behind the body. Now from here we're gonna work our way towards the left with four tails. So we're gonna leave a little gap we curve around, and we're just gonna pull that up. Let's add some fur texture along the side. So again, we're gonna get thicker as we come about halfway along the tail and then bring it back in. So we'll curve around to right there. We're gonna pull it out with a short line. Curve around. Now this is the thickest part. We're gonna pull it in. Let's add one more point of fur. Curving out, and we'll come in and then taper in behind the body. Now we've got three more tails to go on this side, so we're gonna leave a gap. Start with the inside edge of the tail first, going around, and then we'll go up. And then again, we're gonna repeat this. Curving out, we'll add some fur on the end here. Now we're gonna go thicker, going thick. We'll add another point. Now again, we're gonna work our way back in behind the body. So going thick, and then coming in thinner. Now we're gonna add two more back here, but we're gonna have to go in behind the ear and the thigh. So stepping down, curve around. Now we're gonna go in behind the ear, continue on the opposite side, and then go up. Now we're gonna come back down again. So we're going thicker. We'll add a point here, going out, come around. Start to pull that in. We're gonna add one more piece of fur here, coming out. Now we taper just around the knee, come back in, on the opposite side of the ear, in behind the body. Now I'm gonna add one more. So stepping down, curve around, in behind the ear. Now this is gonna go in behind the thigh. Now I just wanna swirl in the opposite direction. Curve around. Now I'm just gonna pull that back around this way, but I'm gonna add some fur. So we're just gonna pull that back. Go around, I'm gonna add one more piece of fur here. And then work our way around, back in. Now again, we're gonna taper this back all the way. So going a little bit narrower as we come in, behind the leg, in between the leg and the ear, and then just finish it off on the inside. Now we're gonna work our way towards the right, starting on the right side of the center tail. Start right here, we're gonna leave a gap, go around, over, and then up. Now I'm gonna taper this back, coming down and in, and add some fur right here. Come back around. I'm gonna add one more point. Then again, tapering it in so it starts to get narrower 
and behind the body. We're gonna have three more on the side. So stepping down, curve around, up. Now I'm gonna pull that down again. Now let's taper that back in. Curving around, down. I'm gonna add some fur here. Curving out, coming around to the bottom, up, and then in behind the body. Now with this next tail, I'm gonna try tucking it in behind this tail here. So let's step down. I'm gonna start by curving down, going up underneath this tail. I'm gonna imagine it going back up and starting up here again. I'm gonna hook this down. Now let's taper that tail back in. Going in, right about here, add a point of fur, then we'll pull this all the way down, in behind the ear, then in behind the body. Now let's draw on this final tail. I wanna balance this out, so we're gonna bring this all the way down. Stepping down, we're gonna go in behind the ear, come around, up. Now I'm just gonna add some fur. Pull it back, now we're gonna curve all the way around. Going back towards the right, and then towards the tip of the tail. Now we're gonna work our way back in. Curving around. Right here, I'm just gonna add some more fur. Curving back, behind the thigh. Now this is gonna come up and in. And that's pretty much it. There we have it, there's Kurama from Naruto. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.